YouTube, it's Chris. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic and staying safe out there. In this video, we're going to talk about the new BenQ Zowie monitor. BenQ dropped a big wham last night about 11 p.m. Oceanic time. They have just released the 240Hz 27 inch Diac with 0.5 millisecond response time. This thing is an absolute beast. Okay, so they have changed something to do with the um, liquid in the panel to get a faster response time out of it. And also this bad boy compared to its other little brother is a slightly bigger screen. So really, really nice. Very, very similar monitor to your uh, 24.5. Just this thing's bigger and a little bit more responsive. Just a tiny little bit more responsive. You can notice it slightly. It just feels a little bit more responsive. Um, it's really, really nice. So shout out to BenQ for sending it out to me early so I could test it out before they decided to go ahead and release it. Um, very, very privileged to be able to uh, do that. Unfortunately for me, I have to send it back. I kind of wish it could stay here. That would be really, really nice. But um, yeah, we'll get started with the video. Um, it's very, very similar to the other monitor, so we won't get too much into the nitty gritty. If you want to see more or less in the nitty gritty, go and check out my other video. But we'll scroll down here, guys. And yeah, indeed, it is a 0.5 millisecond uh, response time, which is nice. So they've changed something to do with the what I was told to do with our liquid material within the panel to get that really, really nice, um, you know, response time. Um, and it's still got Diac, it works absolutely flawlessly. This is a beast of the monitor, so let's get started with the video, guys. Alright guys, let's check out the settings on this new monitor. Pretty much the same as the other one. Uh, Diac, you definitely want on premium. Um, color vibrance, uh, personal preference, I like that cranked up on 20. Um, instant mode on most definitely. Scrolling down here, uh, just your usual standard stuff. Now I did find one extra setting that is in here. AMI, AMA, you definitely want on high in my opinion. Premium just seems too much overshoot. Um, it's by, high the, by default, so this is the new the new menu color readiness some kind of a red filter or green filter i just left that off i'm not entirely sure what that's for but that's kind of new i thought i'd show you guys anyway um you know just your standard stuff here now i'm currently using hdmi hdmi 2.0 for some reason feels faster um let me know what you guys think down in the comments um display port or hdmi well strangely enough hdmi does um you know uh the on the actual display it says uh 1080p 241 hertz so I don't know. It just honestly feels fast. I've had to use HDMI 2.0 because of my new pass through 240 Hz pass through capture card. But you know, let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys think. Um, we'll go into the service menu, right? Um, this is one of the service menus. But basically, exactly the same as the other monitor. So if you wanted to look um, at more in depth, just check out the other video here. But HDMI, HPD, um, DVD, HPD, logo, auto power, dynamic accuracy. Nothing worth playing um, with in here. I mean, you can change the dynamic accuracy just in the normal menu anyway. And we're going to go into the secondary service menu. You press those two buttons, hold the power button down. Um, and it's the same secondary service menu as the um, its little brother. But I thought I'd just um, show you guys anyway if you were curious to see what you could play with or what is actually in here, but it's pretty much all just the sort of the same thing. All right, I wanted to show you guys Diac on versus off, and this time we're gonna do it properly with um, following the camera with the UFOs and taking a photo. So this would be Diac on, I'm gonna show you guys right now. This is Diac on, um, 
hard to take with the phone camera but as you can see look at the top ufos see how they're relatively clear well as clear as i can take it with the phone camera i'm going to go ahead here and turn diac off just to show you guys the difference and this is what it would just be like without um, a monitor that has this feature um so i've just turned it off there the screen's flickered and that's Dyak off. As you can see, see, see those top UFOs, see how blurry they are. And imagine what it would actually look like in a really, really fast FPS. Because this is only at 240. Imagine like running 500 frames per second, moving around really fast. So that's it back on, as you can see there. So a hell of a lot more clearer. But unfortunately, my camera can't take the greatest photo, but you guys get a bit of a rough idea. All right, boys and girls, we've got Dyak on premium on this beast of a monitor. Let's see if we can show you guys with the camera, hopefully. I think usually the correct way to do it is with an um, actual photo, but if I follow it, you guys will be able to see how damn clear it is, hopefully. The camera will pick it up. I just kind of have to follow the UFOs for it to work. So damn clear. Let's go ahead and turn Diac off, what it would look like on a sort of normal monitor without the, this uh, fantastic strobing feature. Turn that off. Screen's flickering. The beast is turning it off. You'd never want to do that on this monitor. You'd be stupid to turn it off. And I don't know, yeah, you can actually kind of pick it up with the camera. It's blurry as hell. You follow that UFO, it's just not a clear image. All right, boys, what we're on the top of this monitor. Let's check out the display scaler. How does it look with um, lower resolutions in actual proper display scale? So I've got um, a couple of reses here. I've got a force 1920 by 1080 display scale, even though it should be display scaled. Got 1600 by 900, 1280 by 720, and 1152 by 648. So we'll start with, I guess, six, we'll, we'll go we'll work our way down. We'll go 1600 by 900. So let's test out this bad boy. Hit apply. And looks pretty damn clear. So it looks like it's working. Looks pretty decent. I'll quickly check here in the menu settings, system, information. Well, yep, we're on 1600 by 900 in the actual current resolution, so the space scaling is working. Let's uh, change it back down. I've got another forced display scaling res. 1280 by 720, that's one of my favorites actually. I've got to hit apply there. 1280 by 720, okay. Apply. Let's check this out. Yep, clear as day. Let's have a quick look. So, I mean, I'll give it that. Real, real clear. Obviously not gonna be as clear as the 24.5 inch model. I mean, but that's kind of a given. Yep, we're at 1280 by 720, that's awesome. But um, still pretty damn decent, honestly. Um, I think BenQ's have the best display scale, honestly. Like, you can't get any better. Anyway, 1152 by 648. Um, where's that? I think that's, yeah. Because I made a custom one that can be in a random place. It's awesome display scaling, so. Let's apply that. Let's see how clear it looks. And I can't even, like, I can't tell the difference between that and 12.8 by 7.20. I mean, it's clear as hell. Um, you know, you got to love BenQ for their display scalers because you try to pull this off on other monitors and it's kind of a bad time. It looks blurry as hell, even if it's not GPU scaling. Current resolution, 1152 by 648. Yeah, we're definitely display scaled. So I want to just show you guys the desktop because I don't think the phone will be able to pick up everything. Um, I'll just jump into a, a quick game of offline COD only because I've just been playing that lately um, Let's see what it looks like so you guys can give get a bit of a base here. This is um, I think just spec ops offline something like that safeguard. So this is um, 1920 by 1080 you can see so completely native right not a smaller resolution stretch to full screen Now we'll go ahead and we'll throw on um, you know 1600 by 900 so you guys can get a bit of a gist of what the display scale would look like on this beast of a 27 inch monitor. 1600 by 900, did that work? Easiest way to check it is on the monitor, right? So, um, information, yeah, definitely works. 1600 by 900 is the current. Um, I'll go back and yeah, I can't even, I really can't even tell the difference with this. Only like a slight difference in pixelation. So it's really, really nice. And we've got slight FPS boost there, it's just going up. Especially in this game, hence the love lower resolutions, I have found. Let's find a 720, 1280 by 720. Uh, we'll apply that. My favorite. Although the only thing with this resident war zone, if you've got a sniper scope from a far distance, it can get a little bit sketchy. 
And there we go here, clear as day. Obviously you can see the slight difference in pixels. You guys might not be able to see that on the phone, but it's actually clear, clear and it's working. So is that actually working? Let's have a look here. And 1280 by 720. And let's try one last time. Maybe so you guys can get a bit of a feel because I'll be more aggressive and we'll go down to, was it 1152 by 648? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was that one. It's a custom one that I made. I will know. Oh yeah, it's definitely because it's clear as hell. Yeah. So did that work? Because if it doesn't say, if you guys watch my other video on the display scanning, if it doesn't work, it'll say current resolution 1280 by 9, uh, 920 by 1920 by 1080. But anyway, it's working 1152 by 648, and it is clear as day. So what do I think? I think display scaler is amazing on this monitor. It's clearly not going to look as clear as a 24.5 inch model, but man, this is just so damn nice. It's so awesome to be able to run low res. Right guys, towards the end of the video here, I've had this monitor for a few weeks. What are my final honest thoughts about it? So guys, this is not a paid review, but BenQ sent it to me so I could test it and try it out before they decided to go ahead and release it so you could buy it. It is an absolute beast. It's fantastic. It definitely feels faster. I've been playing around with it for a few weeks now. At one day, at one stage, I was swapping between the two monitors to, to really feel like, am I suffering from placebo here or does it feel faster? It definitely does feel a slight bit faster. It is nice to have like 27 inch that the enemy um, players look um, a little bit bigger. It actually took me a little while to adjust my sensitivity, um, believe it or not. Um, I don't know if that's a thing, but it definitely felt um, different. Fantastic monitor. You can't go wrong with spending the money on a monitor like this. Honestly, guys, like I can't stress this enough compared to its competition. BenQ, they do the best display scalers, okay? And you'll always do scaling on display, won't do scaling on GPU, so you have less input lag you'll be able to run lower resolutions or stretch resolutions with a really good display scaler so it's going to look crisp and clear as day the display scaler on this thing's fantastic the diac is fantastic just as good as the other one but this thing is faster and bigger and it's absolute beast like i said it's hella worth the money spending this versus it's um you know competition generally it's competition um You'll, you'll get a monitor, even if it does do scaling on display, generally they um, they build in, they put pretty cheap scalers in. BenQ have the best scalers, so if you know if you do want to go ahead and run those lower resolutions or stretch resolutions, nothing is going to look as crisp as one of these. And then it's other competitions, some of them can't even do proper display scaling. It's only GPU scaling, so you're going to have that little bit of an extra input lag. Um, and if you do go ahead and just try to force uh, display scaling, you'll just get a black screen altogether. So you can't go wrong. G-Sync, FreeSync, a total meme i can't stand those things you have to cap your fps this is a monitor that you can run as many fps as you want and you're still going to get no ghosting you know um which is just fantastic like i said in the other video um you know diac feature is fantastic so yeah it feels faster it's bigger it's really really nice so i'll also say the cons about this monitor here and now um because they've changed you know, the, the liquid in the panel, the colors do look a little bit washed out compared to the 24.5 inch model. And also I found, which is a given, and I said that in the other video, um, going with a 27 inch um, model, um, it's not going to look as clear um, as the 24.5. But with this thing, you get the 0.5 millisecond response time. So yeah, colors don't look as good. Image doesn't look as good, um, but it's still an absolute beast of the monitor. So for me personally, I'll be sticking with the 24.5 inch and I'll be waiting for them to bring out a 0.5 millisecond in the 24.5 inch. I really feel like that's the sweet spot. But if a slightly washed out colors don't bother you and you care more about the competitive edge, this is the monitor to get. To get. It just really can't get better um, than this, right? Um, true display scaling, Diac with uncapped unlimited frames as many frames as you want with a 0.5 millisecond it can't get any better than this a really decent display scaler so you could run a stupid resolution you could run 800 by 600 in your game with proper display scaling and it will look clear as day absolutely amazing well done benq well done fantastic monitor definitely worth checking out guys take it easy have a good one